presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the goal report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate the growl and a problem with us yet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. Communication with others, communicate with others as clear as you can be to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with impeccability of the word, all our relationships would change. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 221, NASDAQ off 122, S&P's off 25, gold contract up $3.80, trading at 1788 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $22.29 an ounce, light sweet crew down 36 cents, $71.31 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 14 ticks, trading 130.27. The 30-year up a full point, plus five ticks at 162.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 204 ticks, trading out at 96.300. Euro is 112. Yen is at 113.52. And the British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so from highs to lows out here, first look at the SPY. So we have with the SPY out here, there she is. We had a high out here today of a price point of uh, 470.56. You come down all day, you're at 466, 468. Uh, that being said, guess what? Friday, uh, we went up with 77 million today. You're backing down with 49. Now, what we also have here, folks, is this. Now, this is this is gets. If you understand the out of time in the trade and the ABC structures, whether they're going up or down, this is a really close call. And what and what it is is this. And yeah, let me put this up because this is pretty cool, man. This is cool understanding it at least. And since we're in the probability business, the S and P, the spy, the S and P very well could be in an ABC structure on the way up. And this is why this one's a tough one to basically, you know, technical analysis, bottom line, you know, it's a probability type of deal. It's not, you know, one of these deals that's a black and white deal. And what you have here is this, is that we have a B point that was, you know, well, first off, the A point on this is the, the low that was established on the, uh, the 3rd of December. That's at 448.92. Then you go up to the top at 470. We come down one day, and then on Friday, you actually took out the B point with volume. Now, this is where the problem comes in. When, when something is this close, you know, normally I would take the, the day before it. The day before it is 95 million versus how we took it out with 77 million. Okay, so that, that's where the question really comes in is that, okay, is it really an ABC up? And if you do read the out of time in the trade, this would not be a confirmed ABC structure on the way up because of the fact that when you have two spots that are so close and one of them has a higher volume, I always like to take the higher volume. That being said, you want to pay attention to this because we're pulling back with light volume right now, man. So 
This is telling me if we pull back again with light volume tomorrow, that's telling me we're going to ABC structure on the way up. I, I know that sounds, you know, just like, okay, well, how, why would that be? Because what you have, folks, is that if you do not have sellers, okay, um, the bottom line is that this thing wants higher price. You know, my take is we're still going to test the highs. So we'll see where the baby shakes out. That's in, in the S&P. And that would be one of the deviant moves that the market could take. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs have a different setup. You know, the bottom line, um, the three Qs, they had volume uh, Thursday, but then they came down on Friday with volume. Now, watch what you're doing here. We came down on Friday with volume. And then what ends up happening, the, the bottom line is that we come down today with lighter volume. If the, if the Qs don't do 52 million today, that's saying that, hey, man, you know, yeah, we might think that the Qs need a rest right now. And my take is that we're still in a much larger, you know, ABC structure, not that we're going to get down to that consolidation of 350 in the Qs. That's, that's where my head's at with this period, no matter what happens. But looking at this, this is, this is pulling back with light volume. So the bottom line is that, you know, you, you want to pay attention to it because we definitely are going to, it's going to be intriguing to see what is in the statement. You know, uh, gold out here today, gold is higher, but needs a lot more volume. That, that's, the, that's the real bottom line. Um, we only have 100,000 contracts out there today. You're up 370, needs more volume. We go over to the dollar index. The dollar is not telling us much either. The dollar is doing what gold is doing. The dollar has been going sideways for two weeks. And the Fed will move the dollar. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Um, so we'll see where this baby is going to go because uh, my take on the dollar, well, my take on gold is we're going to 1825. My take on the dollar is that it wants to come back to the breakout area. That breakout area is 94,500. And right now, you're at 96,303. Some of the higher volume equities that we have, well, here, well, let's, if we go over to the, let's go take a look at the note and bond market because there's no doubt the Fed moves the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market and what you have, the 10-year note, you're up 14 ticks, half a point. Now, this is not a lot of volume, though. Uh, the 10-year should be doing, when you're up like this, the 10-year really should be doing like 1.7 to 2 million contracts, and you're only at 779 contracts, 779,000 contracts. Uh, you have the white price spread, though, so that's telling me that the 10-year wants to run to this 131.16, and we'll see if it uh, continues to have juice uh, up at that level. The way this is trading out right now, um, it looks to me like there's not going to be any like moves that are really going to destroy the market uh, before the end of the year. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the, that's the way this seems to be setting up. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is taking it taking on the shoulder, uh, taking it on the chin out here today. You got uh, Bitcoin right now. We're at 46,949. And, you know, my, my Bitcoin looks to me like it's going to 39,000. You know, we'll see whether I can handle it. It, it did that dip. The dip. When the dip came down, it came to, it came to 42,000. You swing down there, though, is 39. And there's not much support down there at 39, but we'll see how it shakes out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 220. We get the Nasdaq off 119. S&Ps are off 24. Let's go over to our man Steve, Steve Rhodes as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. As you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see... Newsletters, you get newsletters, you're going to get Master and Probability right on the right-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of, of $199 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $1195, which is the savings of $593 or 33%. Do yourself and give yourself a New Year's present, folks, okay? Go over Check it out. You're going to love it. If for some reason it doesn't work in 30 days, you get your money back. So you have everything to win, zero to lose. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I think you forgot to say, and because of Santa Tom, they can actually get those newsletters for less if they take advantage of the uh, new Tiger Dollar. That's movie. right, folks. And right on so the front tell them about that. Tell it, them about that. It, on the front page, folks, there's no doubt. We have the Tiger Dollar sale. It just started this morning, and it only goes for 12 days. So check it out right in the front page. Because it's a way that you can save 10, 20, uh, up to 40 percent this time. You know, so exactly. it's 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 a good value. It's a great value. Yeah. So we, we have to say thank you to you. You know, Santa Claus. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. Which, which ho, ho, Santa. ho. <laughs> <laughs> and you arrive again in what? Uh, in uh, in just uh, 10 days, basically. I know. That there, 11 days. I, you know, we're in week 50 uh, from from our trading standpoint. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, know. Ab absolutely, absolutely. So uh, uh, I thought what we would do here is just start by taking a look at our annual seasonal cycle, which okay. would suggest that the Santa, now, the Santa Claus rally, a lot of folks take a look at the Santa Claus rally and look at the time period from uh, Christmas Eve on. Uh, really, the Santa Claus rally begins in October. I mean, you've got to make all those toys. Yeah. And where they really rally, typically, if we take a look at the last 80 some odd years out here, we see that the Dow, and this is what we're looking at here, the Dow typically forms a bottom in October. It also forms a bottom towards the uh, first week of January, moves lower into the end of January, moves higher into May. Uh, so we'll take a look at these uh, cycles. And in fact, if we take a look at this calendar year, 2021, we'll see that the seasonal cycle dates have been working really relatively well and so they're identified here at the lows or the bottoms um, are shown with the green arrows the tops with the uh, red arrows out there so the seasonal cycle has those key turn dates the end of january as i mentioned mid-may followed by a june bottom then another top in mid-july and then the final bottom in uh, in the month of october so 
the month of December also, Tom, I, I don't know if you knew this, but it has the highest probability of closing above November's close. Now, this is Look data. At that. Wow. Yeah, this this is data going back to January of 1970, and it just compares yep. close versus close. So I don't want people to overthink this. It's just the probability of one month closing above the prior month, and the month of December has got that uh, largest bias. And the reason why I want to make that statement is that as long as the Dow closes above 34,483, and we're pretty well above that, that will fulfill that outcome that we took a look at. So it's about close versus close, not about taking out the high of November. Okay. So it's a, it's a little nuance out there, but kind of like your little nuance about the A to B equals CD pattern right. out here. And I don't want people to misinterpret uh, this. So the Dow will fulfill that normal pro probability as long as it closes above 34, 483. And again, that's just simply based upon this probability table of going back to January of 1970. Now, one reason to anticipate. So this is kind of you and I kind of talking about, hey, what the market do on Friday? Is that an A to B equals CD to the upside? Which would then suggest taking out the highs uh, that we've seen. I know. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But, but okay, and, and that's absolutely a possibility it's still in there, and it would fit along that seasonal cycle. However, one reason to anticipate that the high may be in is, and we're taking a look at the Dow here. Now, this is the daily time frame, is the Dow formed a TD9 topping pattern back on November 8th. And this is bar number eight that is out here. This is a pattern, Tom, that I teach subscribers. It is really a great pattern. It helps us to identify key levels of breakout support, breakdown resistance out there. And so another reason for folks to go ahead and at least subscribe for, for a 30-day time period. So we have a valid top inside of the Dow. That, again, formed on November the 8th. And that led to also a... TD9 count bottom was bar number nine. So when tops or bottoms form on this pattern, Tom, it must be on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So there's three bars to really pay attention to. Here we'll get take a look at the Dow, the top of TD9 count top, the bottom a TD9 count bottom. And we can see that price made its way up to this resistance level of 35, 952.63. Based upon utilizing this indicator, this tool, that is where the breakdown began. There was a slight close above it on Friday. I require two closes above resistance or two closes below support to give us a, a real something other than a, a one hit wonder out there. Um, so we've got those daily top and bottom signals in place. And when we take a look at each of the four core cash index charts, we can see that the S&P, the NASDAQ, uh, each of these. So the S&P has got a, what I refer to as a road momentum indicator top, both the S&P and the NASDAQ 100. Another pattern that I teach subscribers in the videos that come with uh, the newsletter subscribership. So we've got those tops. We already talked about the TD9 count top on the Dow Jones and the Russell 2000 has what we like to refer to as a sell the D point out there. It also had wave number seven. That's part of Basil Chapman. So there's valid tops for the core indices that we trade out here, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell 2000. And therefore, we should anticipate that the top may be in. And the, the Dow charts show us really the reason to, re to respect this because of these TD9 counts. Now, watch this. This, Tom, is an annual chart for the Dow. And if we take a look at this, we are now in the bar following bar number nine on an annual basis. Wow. For TD9 count tops. That's so remember, crazy, man. The, the top or bottom of this pattern, yeah, it occurs on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. Now, the cool thing about this pattern is whatever this year's high ends up being, if we close above it on a yearly basis, it tells about a strong momentum move to the upside. But right now, we really need to respect these TD9 counts, and the daily charts really showed us that. Now, if we take a look at the 2000 top, I know it says 200 top, but if we take a look at the 2000 top, it was bar number eight that actually formed that pattern. And then we had a, a decline for a three-year time period. If we look at all of our core cash indices out here between the Dow, the SP, NASDAQ, this is on the annual basis out here, the Russell. Which is the huge. Semis, the yep. There are a lot of TD9 count tops yeah, that are in play right now. So it doesn't matter whether our highs for this year get taken out or not. This is a bigger picture, and it's real bigger picture for us to really pay attention. Because if this is a major top, and you and I have talked about this before. This this chart here goes back to 1926. Yeah. And take a look at an annual basis. When there's major tops that form, we usually see declines for two to four years out here. And those are what these uh, red numbers uh, and these arrows on this chart are uh, showing us. So um, it's going to be, it's, you know, so we may take out the highs this year. I I'm leaning more towards the fact that we don't. 
and that the top for the market may be in. And we'll have to take a look at critical support levels. And I show those to subscribers as well. And maybe on the next update next week, you know, we'll take a look at those as well out here. But uh, there's the potential that we're in store for some kind of major top and a decline maybe into 2023 sometime. You're going to love it, man. And hey, so, see, so uh, let me ask you. So I got the, this month going. So let's say when we get into January, we know we're either going to have a top. But if we yes. if we back down then on that month, that is going to be the beginning of uh, confirmation for that TD9 top, right? It, it will. Okay. Um, I mean, price but you like too much. No, I, I understand that. Because you, you, yes. you, that's cool, though. That means by February, well... January, yeah. February. Yeah, that's cool, though, man. Either way. Right. All right. Cool. Yeah. And we'll be able to take a look at daily and weekly and right. monthly key levels of support. When those things start failing, Tom, right. that's really the confirmation. Right. Of, of the uh, monthlies. Yes. Yeah. And, folks, exactly. it's really easy to get his newsletter. All this is in a newsletter, folks. Come over to TFNN. You go into newsletters. You hit Mastering Probability. Thanks, man. You bet. Take care. Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. DFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 220. We get the NASDAQ off 151. S&Ps are off 27. Let's go to our man Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. TD9, TD9. Very interesting. TV9? TD9. Uh. Your, your host, your guest just had TD9. The oh, yeah, problem. yeah. No, I know. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You know what's so cool about that, folks, is that it's very hard to get to a TD9 a, even in a daily, okay? Because what happens is that, you know, if consolidations, then you, you never even get it. So when you get to it in a monthly, you better pay attention. And the cool thing I like about it is whether you're going to go or not going to go, and we're going to know. So 
you know. Yeah, correct. Uh, early next year sounds like. Yes. Tom, I want with you. I want you to use your untrammeled vision and look at the real estate market going into next year. Um, Goldman Sachs sent me a memo this morning saying, "Dear Mr. Reynolds, do not worry about the housing market." Our models project they'll grow a further 16% by the end of 2022, and and that the U.S. has underbuilt housing by at least 5.5 million units. Does that jive with you? Well, this is what happens. They, I, I you know, listen. I, I hope it goes up that much in, uh, in another year. Um, what does happen though? The underbuilding is absolutely there in a monster way and has been for a long period of time. And that matters. What also matters, that, now you're bringing up real estate, right? So, so picture this, folks, okay? This is what's important to understand about inflation. Now, we do not want inflation running big numbers like they're running right now. My, my, my take is that we're gonna be running these for two or three years easy and it will calm down a bit, but we're not going back to 2%. And so, if that's the case, this is what you have to wrap your head around. I know this is a little tough, but depending on what part of the real estate business you're in, let, let's picture that you, you have to try to figure out, okay, where am I going to put some money? So real estate, metals, anything that's a hard asset, folks, okay, the bottom line should be able to keep up with inflation. The, the, what I want to talk about more than anything, though, is the aspect is that when you're talking about retail income properties, right? Um, I mean, if you can find some, <laughs> they're still gonna be, it, it, you're gonna think that they're expensive, but if they cash flow positive, what you definitely should do is you should do the real numbers on them because I'm just, I'll just do this quick, just so you can kind of get a understanding of what happens with inflation. Let's say that we bought a, you and I bought a duplex, uh, Jose, at, at three fifty down in Florida, right? So yeah. we bought it at three fifty. Let's say we're just getting fifteen hundred. We got two units. We're getting fifteen hundred rent. So that's what three thousand is thirty six thousand a year. We get right. So watch, yeah. watch what happens here, though, inflation, folks. So on a retail unit, the depreciation value is twenty seven point five years. Okay. So on three fifty, that's going to be twelve thousand seven twenty seven and depreciation that you get to write off. Then let's just say that we're paying 4% and we had no money down. I'm, I'm just doing this so you can kind of see how these numbers work. And so that's another 14 grand. So what that would be saying is that here, watch this, is that we take in 36, we paid out 27, but we really didn't pay out 27. We only paid out 14 because the 12,727 is depreciation. So it's showing there that, okay, that when all said and done, we made $9,000, okay? Now, watch what happens here, folks. If the, if the number, let that, let's just take a, let's take a 5% number. Now, Goldman Sachs is saying 16% next year. Let's just say 5%, right? So if we take 5%, 15, that's, uh, that's $15,250, right? Just on the inflation value of your investment, right? That, that should go up every year. And then, and this is the big kicker in inflation, and I remember this so well because it, it, just the big, it was the first house I ever bought. I bought it, I paid 14.5% uh, in interest. And in 1970, I think everyone did that. 72, I think I might have bought the house, the first right. house. But this is what happens. On a, if, you know, you, you get, whether, let's say it's a 15 year mortgage, right? Well, if inflation just runs for five years, that 350 grand that you took out, that's not gonna be 350 grand that you're gonna end up paying back because the amount of inflation, those dollars that you paid back are gonna be inflated dollars. Uh -huh. So it's a big number, man. I mean, in, in just, in just at 5% a year, you, you, that 350, you can take 25% off it immediately. Do you see what I'm saying, though? So if you can get places that are cash flow positive and you're just, just even, you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> That's well, I'm, 
speaking of someone who is having homes built with cash. I'm not talking about borrowing money. So would you agree with strong buying demand and underbuilding, limiting the amount of the housing supply? Aren't we likely to see home price prices remain high? Yes, even, oh, the home even prices even remain high. Uh, they, the I mean, I, I, they have to remain high because the replacement value is so high. I mean, I build new houses. The replacement value, and this is the, this is the kicker. It's like, you know, the window prices aren't going down. The, the lumber prices fluctuate, but windows aren't going down. Appliances aren't going to go down. Um, that right there is, is a big number. Cement hasn't been that, that bad, uh, but there's yeah. the labor. Labor's not going down. There's no way. You know, right now, the so check this out. This is pretty intense, folks. Framers. Now, now framers are really talented, but if you've ever watched how a framer works, it is phenomenal how they can frame a house. And I was talking to my framing guy, and he has two separate crews. Well, his framing guys, the, there's two main, each crew that this guy has, he has about 15 in each crew, folks. Well, those guys right now, in order to keep them, the main guys are pushing, bottom line, eighty-five to hundred thousand a year, and that's the only way they can keep them. So if that's if that continues, which I suspect it's going to, that that goes into the house, and that's that's a big oh, part of the I house. See. You're talking about labor costs. Yes. Oh, I got you. I got you. The frame is, but hey, Tom, one last question: If a builder promises completion in three months and doesn't, shouldn't there be a penalty against that builder? It's gonna, I, it's I gonna, know about the waiting of trust packages and windows. It's going yep. to be in the contract. Oh, it's going to be stipulated? It should be in the contract that the that the build is going to have an out, yeah. Because <laughs> I can tell you, they're in my contracts. <laughs> yeah, most times if you, if you, if you read that contract, the, the builder should have an out, yeah. Oh, I got you. All right, uh, very okay, man. interesting, very good, thank you. Have a great one, man, have a safe one. Let's go take a look at, uh, you know, we got uh, some action in the den, they're talking about an Eco Eagle, uh, uh, Kirkland Lake, uh, we're going to start with Newmont, and this is a big number, and thanks, Baseball. appreciate it, man. The, Newmont's doing an ABC structure up, and this is what we needed, folks, okay, if you're in the metals market. Newmont was the biggest dog in the world, has been for, let me see, it, it's at least six months. It might be longer than that. Let me look at this. Yeah. So this has been going down since May of 2021, June, July, August, September, October, November, just seven months. This, this is an ABC up, man. I mean, taking out the B point, taking it out with volume. This is a beautiful thing. You stay right there, folks. You'll be coming right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 195. We'll get the Nasdaq off 142. S&P's off 24. So let's look at Newmont here. Newmont clearly taking this B point out, taking it out with volume. Even if we go to the day before, it's probably going to have that. Well, it's going to be close. But this is a clean ABC up. I, I like how this is. It does have higher volume the day before, but because you have such a wide price spread and the way that this is trading right now, I'd say it's an ABC structure up. It's taking the B point out. The B point out here has 5.8 million. You're at 7.1 right now. 59.39 is your price projection. And the uh, high of the consolidation is 59.36. So more than likely we're going there. And that's crucial, folks, for the GDX uh, because the weighting structure is so large inside the GDX, uh, as well as the XAU and EHUI. Let's go take a look at Aniko Ego. All of these have been going down for quite some time, including Aniko Ego. Uh, this one here finally caught a bid. You know, you got down to the low end of the consolidation. We did this Friday, and you did it with lighter volume. You can see Aniko Eagle 1.7 million versus 2.2 million. Then you catch a bid today. You were 2 million. This is good. Okay, changing it around. We're at. Uh, you want to see Aniko Eagle get inside 49.20. 49.20. That's the higher range. That's the range that can bring you all the way up to that 58. Because you can see we broke that range. And you can see the day before we broke it. And this, this, is, a, this is a cool one to look at, folks, um, when you look at the context of how we actually came into the swing point. And you can see when we came into that swing point, the prior day, see the volume exploded to the top side, and then it took it out. And Kirkland Lake. We take a look at Kirkland Lake. So Kirkland Lake is, uh, in Eco Eagle is buying Kirkland Lake. So it, the, the correlation is the calculation of what Aniko Eagles buying Kirkland Lake for. So as long as Kirkland Lake, I mean, Aniko Eagles moving, you're going to have Kirkland Lake moving, which is exactly what we see out there. Let's go to John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Good. I, I'd like I, to... I haven't heard that voice for a while, man. Good to hear from you. <laughs> I was in Italy for a while. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. Italy is something else, man. That is, that's living. That is living. So, Verizon, huh? Which of the two looks more attractive to, to add to? I have both of them. Ver Verizon, uh, uh, Marbell, uh, AT&T? Yes. Let's take a look at that. AT&T is paying 8% and Verizon is paying 5% at this level. But let's take a look at it. So, Verizon... It's trading fifty dollars forty one cents pays a five percent dividend at, if you buy it at this particular point. Um, this one here, yeah, it's. Let me just see what where the swing is. Looks like it turned around today. Yeah, it did. No, it did. And you're coming into the. Oh, this is even better. Yeah. Okay. So you rejected. You rejected on the month on the weekly basis. Two weeks ago it was forty nine seventy six. You rejected it. You got the forty nine sixty eight, which is great. Okay, so this one here, once you get a rejection, you know, the bottom line is that we should run our top side again. So top side there is, what, 63. 
Now let's go to Ma Bell and take a look at AT&T. You know, it's hard to comprehend why all these phone companies went down so dramatically. I don't know, but anyway, they did. So Ma Bell pays a 9.23% dividend. Um, how long are you going to hold it? I mean, are you going to hold it for a couple of years or something? Or? I can wait, sure. Long term. You know, so I'd buy, I'd, I'd split it up, man. You know, because they all run the same way. And I don't know why Ma Bell got hurt more than Verizon did. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Ma Bell's paying well, a 9%. Well, their earnings don't look too good the next quarter. I'm sorry, what? Their earnings don't look too good next quarter. Yeah, here, yeah, so let's see what they're saying. So Ma Bell is saying 40.6 billion, 75 cents to the bottom line, and that would be correct what you're saying because they did 87 cents. Uh, and it, I mean, it looks like they did 87 cents last quarter, 89 the quarter before, 86 the quarter before. So they are showing that, you know, all of next year, they're only going to do like 78 to 74 cents. So that's Ma Bell. If we go to Verizon, they're looking to take in 33.8, and they're going to do 129 this year, and then 136. One, yeah, yeah. Verizon is in better shape fundamentally. Yeah, you know, and you know, I, I know that uh, I've had plenty of the Tigers saying that. Ma Bell is going to cut their dividends. Um, you know, I'm sure that that's some analyst somewhere saying that, but uh, I just don't see it happening. So. It, 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 they have plenty of money. There's not a reason to cut their dividends, so I don't know, you know. The earnings per share cover the dividend, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they make a fortune, man. They both, both companies make a fortune, man. I mean, look at this. They, they're talking about... <laughs> It's talking about forty billion. Well, here, what's seventy-five cents times? Uh, yeah, times seven billion. <laughs> That's what they make per quarter. Right. Yeah. So, it's it's a, it's it a, up. The phone companies aren't going away, man. So. Mm. Well, you're getting more than the banks, right? I'm sorry. The yield is more than the banks. Yeah, the yield's dramatically higher as long as the the equity stays where it's at or goes higher. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, so, I mean. Aren't they considered flight to safety in case of a downturn? I'd say so at that, at that type of uh, interest rate structure. Yeah. I mean, no one's paying that kind of money, man. You know, yeah. they, they've, they've been doing, the phone companies have been paying a, a big dividend for quite some time now. And when I say a big dividend, even when they were at higher prices, they were still paying four and a half to five percent. So, my bell, my bell was always popular with the widows, right? <laughs> well, that's what they were. You know, that's what the mantra always was. There's no doubt. And you know, I, I think you probably know this. My mother, folks, was a telephone operator, and she was the telephone operator, just like you see on TV, doing the plugs and the board. And I. Actually, I was five years old, six years old, and I used to take the bus from South Boston to downtown Boston and meet her, and she'd bring me to lunch because, what, so check this out. This is how the economy starts moving, and, you know, when you're talking about that far, this that long ago, it was called a split shift, and what would end up happening, all these operators would have to work split shifts, meaning you'd work from, like, 7 to 11, and then they wouldn't put them back on till three in the afternoon to seven at night. And you have, you know, that's how they'd have to work because that's when the phones would get busy because people weren't calling each other during the daytime. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> but those were the good old days, you know? Well, that, you, that, listen, I, the amazing thing to me when I think about it, I was so lucky to see all that stuff. Um, you know, because it's like you tell someone that, like, what, are you kidding me, man? But you can see that, you know, there's always going to be a, a worker versus a uh, corporation. That's, that's the bottom line. Because if the corporation had uh, their with all, they would, they would have loved to basically keep it the same way, I'm sure. Um, hey, listen, welcome home, man. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one.
Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 267. NASDAQ's up 176. S&Ps are off 33. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 282. NASDAQ's off 188. S&Ps are off 35. And you have, uh, let's go take a look at the S&Ps for a second. Uh, the NASDAQ is definitely breaking. Uh, it's just challenging its lows from this morning. And if we take a look, for, yeah, the s and is doing the exact same thing. Uh, so the, the, the uh, S&P, there she is. Yeah, she's challenging the lows of this morning also. As you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, you're going to see this right on the front page, the TFNN Tiger Dollar Sale. Now, the, you can hit the banner. The way that this is, this is on for 12 days, folks, okay? It ends December 23rd. Um, if you have any services at TFNN or you're looking to get any services, it's a great way um, to save money and, and get a, even a better value. Uh, the way this works is that you can buy $500 of Tiger Dollars and you get 600 you can buy a thousand. If you buy a thousand, you get a thirty percent bonus. You get thirteen hundred in Tiger dollars, and the max is that if you buy fifteen hundred, you can get a bonus of six hundred dollars or forty percent, twenty one hundred dollars. So, if you have any services at TFNN right now, you're looking to get any in the future. Bottom line, check it out in the front page of TFNN. Um, they they don't have an expiration point, and they're totally transferable also. So, it's great little value. We do it a few times a year, and um, 
This is the second time this year, so I guess the next one will be probably sometime in June. Um, we take a look at the marketplace. If we take, a, we go to the spy first. Take a look at the spy. Spy right now is still backing down with light volume. You know, you get. Uh, let's see, seventy-seven million up. Today's sixty-seven million. We we might do seventy-two. We'll see. We'll see if they can get it up there uh, coming into the close. Into the NDX one hundred, the three Qs, three Qs. Right now, we're doing forty-six million, and uh, bottom line is that we did fifty-two on Friday. So this will get interesting because you are breaking the swing of Friday, and uh, this gap is wide open to be uh, had. That's for sure. That's the three eighty-seven uh, sixty. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy right here tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Go get him, folks.